All right. I promise I won't get sad on this one. Ah, who am I kidding? I'll probably cry. Ladies and gentlemen, we have another song from Linkin Park before Chester passed away. Now, if you guys know anything about me, I grew up listening to Linkin Park religiously. Um, and Chester is kind of the one that influenced me enough to work on vocals because his were so powerful and so much meaning went behind him, partially because Chester was going through things himself. And so it's one of the things that I just feel, I don't know, has been a big influence in my life. And every time I talk about it and I think about it and how we will no longer get Chester himself creating new music, this is all stuff that's been recycled or found of his. This is not new Chester. This is not decision making from Chester. This is decision making from the Linkin Park band. And so it's very sad and it's one of the things that kind of makes me want to delve more into my own vocals because I feel like if I listen to this kind of stuff and it's going to push me to become a better vocalist over time, you know, but so this song friendly fire came out during or didn't come out, but it was made during the one more light sessions. Um, so this, I don't know exactly if this was specifically supposed to be on the One More Light session or the One More Light album, um, that was the album, I believe, that came out right before Chester passed away. Um, but the part of it is that it's labeled as part of the Paper Cut Singles collection, which is just songs that have come out from 2000 to two, or songs that were written between two, 2000 and 2023. So I'm not 100% sure. Feel free to educate me a little bit. Tell me where this one specifically comes from. I would figure that this comes from the One More Light album just because of the way they're pushing it. So, But enough talking. I, I feel like I'm emotionally ready for this. So enough talking. Let's get into the video. Tell me the words I've forgotten What we were fighting for Staring right into the darkness Through an empty open door Can't put back what's been broken Can't change the moment We went too far We're pulling apart for no reason We're pulling a trigger in a useless war And if we come back Chester. What are we fighting for? I was supposed to protect you, no matter what's to come. Some I forgot when they told me we hurt the ones we love. God. The amount of passion in his voice. This definitely feels like something that would have come out during the One More Light sessions. There's just so much passion. And I'm pausing it just for copyright's sake, unfortunately. But it's one of those things that it sucks because, like I said, Chester's gone. So this came out at a different time period. And the problem with stuff like this is that we as normal people, and I say normal loosely because not everybody's normal and I don't think there's such a thing as normal, but we as normal people don't know what the band has changed in s since this was originally recorded. So this could have had a whole different feeling, a whole different meaning, but like I said, it does feel like this was meant to come out during the 
one more light sessions the one more light album um so but even that was and i like i said this was not one of their best albums because they took a whole different direction and unfortunately they were not nearly as nitty and gritty as they used to be um i mean and that even shows from the stuff that they released from the meteora album anniversary stuff so um it's one of those things that like Chester was always Chester, and that never changed. Even when the music changed, he didn't. He was always the same person. So it really makes me feel like this still honors him in a much greater scale than we are led to believe. But enough talking, back to it. fact that it's still it's still one of those things that influences me emotionally hearing his voice and remembering that he's gone like I was on my way home from the grocery store today and I listened to uh, lying from you and just listening to that was like man there was so much passion and aggression an emotion in his voice that it is no it it I don't feel like it can be replicated. I don't feel like it can be he is one of a kind. And it makes me sad to think that we lost somebody that special. Now, some people would say, well, we would have lost him eventually, but the problem is is that we would never know what would have happened to Chester if he wouldn't have, you know, died prematurely. You know, so it's one of those things that I feel that Chester is a soul that we lost extremely early and we never got to see the full life and full circle that he would have lived, you know, so but the song is beautiful. It definitely came from the from the later sessions. So um, and but even so. There's still so much to it, so much power, so much emotion in it. And I feel like this would have been a crowd chant if this came out like during that session, um, just with the way and the feeling, uh, the way that Chester kind of sings certain lines, it would have been like a crowd chant kind of song. Everybody would have sang along to it. It's, it's definitely got that feeling. So uh, good job, guys. And... Um, Maybe we'll see some more stuff coming from the Paper Cut singles collection. Um, but, uh, yeah, we miss you, Chester. We miss you a lot, buddy. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to check out more, feel free to check out the link up here. Or feel free to subscribe so you can see what new music is coming. We've got plenty to go around, so we'll be good for the week. Um, and I'll see you guys back here next Friday once all of those videos have come out. So thank you guys, and as always... Rock on. Goodbye.